Hi, Bill Landy here on Interesting Individuals again. Andy Steele is on camera. I'm at Marquette High School where my interesting individual today is Casey Martin. Casey, thank you for letting me come. I'm, I'm speaking to the principal, I'm speaking to the <laughs> baseball coach, and I'm speaking to a high school teacher of history. So you've got a lot going on. Stacy, uh, Casey, pardon me, you um, went to high school in Chesterton, had your athletics get started over there, and then you went on to Notre Dame. I'd like to know what your dealings were like with going to Notre Dame. Sure. Uh, well, again, Bill, thanks for coming and thanks for uh, inviting me to do this. We're, of course, excited to, um, to have the opportunity to talk about our school. This is my first semester as, as principal, so it's been a long road to get here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Notre Dame was, um, I tell you what, if I'm, if I'm really talking honestly about just uh, blessings that I've had, uh, Notre Dame is, is a particular one. I, I graduated, like Bill said, from Chesterton High School. Um, and I ended up getting an athletic scholarship to play baseball at Indiana State. Oh. And I uh, played there for a couple of years, and we had a new coach come in that um, I played for for a year, and he basically um, took my scholarship and, and offered it to another player. He, he did that with a lot of us on the team. And so there was a semester there where I wasn't really sure where I was going to play. I didn't even know college coaches could do that. Yeah, really. And um, I went and played summer ball. Uh, you know, I had a friend who had a coach who knew a coach, and Notre Dame just so happened to have a first baseman transfer out to a different school, so they had an opening. Um, and so that semester, that fall semester before I transferred, I had to take um, basically 21 credit hours of work in order to transfer into Notre Dame in the spring, um, which somehow I was able to complete. I'm still not sure how. Um, but I transferred into Notre Dame in the spring, and I ended up playing that spring uh, and for the next two years. And so I was very fortunate to uh, not have to sit out a year. It was the last year where they let you transfer and play the year that you transferred. Um, in baseball now, if you transfer, just like other sports, you have to sit out a year. So I was incredibly fortunate to be able to transfer in. All of my classwork came in. Uh, I was able to play that spring and ended up playing for the next uh, two years after that and, and graduated in 2010. So uh, it's just a perfect set of circumstances came together and I was extremely fortunate uh, to have it all work out and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. What positions did you play at Notre Dame? So I've, I've been a first baseman really most of my life and uh, I grew up catching uh, but then my knees started to hurt when I got into high school and so first base was kind of the natural opportunity for me. Um, always you know too big and slow to play anywhere else so first base worked out. First base worked out. Mm -hmm. okay. And what was it that attracted you to Marquette? I tell you what, where do I start? You know, it's for the last five, this is now my sixth year at Marquette. Okay. Um, I started here because of an opportunity, uh, really in the international program that Marquette has. We work really hard to provide a global uh, curriculum and global opportunities to our students. And when I interviewed for this position, a teaching position in social studies six years ago, uh, I was just returning from China. I had actually, my first teaching job was teaching English in China. Really now? Yep, yep. And Where so, are Bob's in China? Uh, right in Beijing. Yeah, right in Beijing. So I taught English in China for about a year, and that was when a friend of mine said, hey, you know, Marquette's got an opening, and they're really trying to expand their global opportunities. Uh, and so my resume fit right into that. I had that experience and was excited about uh, working in a classroom back close to where I grew up. And so I was fortunate enough to come and, and do well at the interview, and, and I got the job and haven't looked back since. So that was a big part of it. All right. Now you again have three jobs here at, <laughs> you know, at um, Marquette High School. At least. And we're going we're gonna to sort of dissect each one. You, sure. You teach history. Yep. You're the principal. Yes. And you're the baseball coach. All right. Well, yes. all three dealing with students. All right. Well, let's talk about the principal. Why is that such an enjoyable position? Well, you know, again, over the course of five years, uh, just in the classroom alone, but outside and in the community, you really see the class, uh, you see the students uh, grow, you see the school grow, uh, you make relationships with parents and with other teachers. So to really just see those relationships evolve and to be in a position to do more for our students and for our families uh, is by far the biggest part of becoming principal that I'm most excited about. I mean. We've just gotten such a good understanding of the direction we want the school to go over the last six years that 
um, now being at the helm, it just uh, I'm, I'm so excited and so optimistic about the future and about being able to make the decisions that I think we've all seen over the last several years uh, can take us to the next the next step. All right. And what about teaching? Teaching. About that. <laughs> well, teaching is where I started. It, it, I mean, again, it's it's where I think I I always imagined I would be spending some of my time, and even as a principal. I already know that I'm going to continue to teach one class, uh, you know, a semester. I think it's just really important to keep your foot in the door, to uh, to to keep that relationship with the students. Uh, it also makes it easier to relate to what the teachers are going through and the things that they see in a classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. So it keeps me grounded. Uh, you know, I like the idea of, of keeping that as part of my schedule because, like I said, I think it's just really important to. Uh, to keep your ear to the ground and get a feel for what's really happening in the school so you're not on your island in the principal's office. So. Now, are you teaching uh, U.S. history, world history, or what? So right now, it's a, it's a dual credit class. The, the kids get college credit for it, um, and it's a U.S. history class. So in the fall, we talk about basically the foundations of America, the American Revolution. We really make our way towards the 20th century. Uh, and then this semester is mostly 20th century. So, for example, we just finished up World War II. Um, we'll be getting into the Cold War here, and hopefully by the end of the semester, we'll make it to the 80s and 90s and so now, on. Now, do you yourself have a particular like as far as history? Just you. Let's talk about you now. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm a sucker for World War II history. I, I really am. I have a, my grandfather was a, a part of a B-17 crew. Uh, in World War II, uh, and uh, I just always loved talking to him and the stories that he had, and now being old enough to really appreciate what that must have been like for my grandpa growing up and, and being thrust into the middle of that. Uh, you know, I, I soak it all up. I, you know, I love the stories that you can find about World War II and the things these men went through that make them the greatest generation. And you are not done with your education yet. You are doing an online <laughs> course. Let's hear about that one. So yeah, I you know I as soon as I I, I finished uh, Notre Dame, I, I started looking into the next level of, of my own education. And um, last year I finished up. I got a master's in history uh, through Purdue, uh, and so I finished that and immediately went into uh, a master's program at Bethel uh, over in South Bend, and I'll be working towards um, a, a master's in educational leadership. So. Uh, you know, after that, I'm sure I'll fall right into another program. It's just such a big part of what I uh, love to do, and, and it's it's important in my career and, and moving forward. Is it awkward for any of the students to have you as both a teacher <laughs> and a principal? Oh, it's a great question. So far, so good, I will say. Um, are they a little bit more well behaved in my classes now? Uh, probably. You know, they they're they're not only in the classroom; they're in the principal's office the whole time. You know, it's both places are in the same place. So, no, they they really are. They've been great, and uh, I mean, it meant a lot how excited they were when they heard that I was going to be taking the job. Um, and I think that's something that that just can't be understated enough. Is just that relationship with the kids. Um, and, and so, yeah, I, I'm honored to be where I'm at, and I, I'm excited by the fact that they, they seem to want me there as well. So, Outstanding. <laughs> now let's get to baseball. Finally. You're the baseball <laughs> coach here at Marquette, and let's talk a little bit about that. Well, baseball, like I said, is, uh, it's always been my first love. I, I grew up playing it. I was fortunate enough to have a father that um, was able to dedicate a lot of time to, to teaching me the game and taking me out and hitting balls. And, um, so it's been a part of my daily life since as long as I can remember. It's been a part of our family since as long as I can remember. And obviously going on and playing in college at Notre Dame was just a dream come true. And um, being able to take that into a coaching career is important to me as well. And it's also added a whole new layer to you know my relationship with my dad because he's he helps me coach. He's my oh. he's my assistant coach, which okay. I have to remind him of that sometimes. But. <laughs> No, I love working with him. I love coaching with my dad. Uh, like I said, it keeps the game in our family, and it keeps, uh, you know, it, it just it, it it's the kind of game that always gives you something to talk about. So I'm just ecstatic about the opportunity to coach. It's just a great group of kids. You know, everybody comes every day. They work hard. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it really is. It's it's a, it's an awesome part of the job. Now, are there certain 
types of ball you like? Are you like more on pitching and defense? <laughs> do you like to have power hitters? Oh man! What do you got? What do you got? Hey, I'm a, I'm a first baseman, which meant that I went up and just swang as hard as I could every mm-hmm. single time. Yeah. You know, we're we're an offensive we're an offensive uh, coaching staff for sure. We want to hit home runs. We want doubles off the fence. Uh-huh. Um, that's the excitement of the game for me. So sure, we, we focus on that a lot. And we try to get our kids excited about hit, putting the ball and play hard and scoring runs. Um, but, you know, you can't, can't win games without defense. So that's certainly an aspect of it, too, that we try to focus on. But only as a means to get us back up to hit, you know. <laughs> so we want to we want to be great defenders just so we can get back in and hit, get back yes, in and hit. So. That's absolutely. <laughs> now I know these boys have been playing baseball for probably a decade or so. Something go back to when they were real child. But do you still see and catch mistakes that ball players are making? <laughs> Hopefully to correct it, you know, like swinging at bad pitches or yes. not playing a defensive pitch position well, and you know they can do better. So. Do you still find some things you have to correct? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, that's the great thing about the game that, um, you know, it's challenging at times, but it's also something I love is that there is nothing but valuable life lessons in this game. And I tell them every day, I mean, every challenge you face is a challenge for life. And, you know, the challenges or the adversity you face today in the game is no different than the adversity you'll face going into an interview or, you know, having a rough day on the job or having trouble at home, right? I mean, all of it is training for real life. And I focus on those lessons a lot because you don't always get the outcomes you want. You don't always get the outcomes you predict in baseball. You know, we've got a young team this year with uh, guys with very different talent levels. And um, there's just nothing but opportunities to learn and opportunities to grow and get better. So we we focus on that as much as we can. All right. Well, what's your summer going to be like when school lets out? What do you got going? <laughs> summer, I can finally get some work done, man. I am looking forward to it. No, we, I've got big plans. Um, you know, there's so much that we want to do at this school, and there's so much that I, I'm looking forward to talking with my staff about uh, as far as preparing for the fall. I mean, I really am. I, I'm, there'll be some time to rest and relax for sure, uh, and I think all of us deserve it, especially after the year we've had. So we'll make time for that, but I, I'm looking forward to, to really my first full year as principal and really thinking about what is it we want to accomplish. Hopefully by that time, we'll be through the worst of the pandemic and we can really start focus on getting back to normal and just moving forward. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a productive summer, to be totally honest with you. Now, will this be, well, you've, you've probably been at graduations before here, but this is the, the first one as principal? Yes. Yep. Okay. Do you have a rough idea how many are going to be graduating? So I think it's about 40. Um, it's right around that amount. The school mm-hmm. itself right now is around 200, so it's, it's a good group of kids. Uh, and we're going to do everything we can to have a, uh, you know, a normal graduation ceremony. So we're, fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be able to do that. All right. Mm-hmm. Casey Martin, I want to thank you for being my guest. You're juggling a lot of balls there, and you're doing it successfully. Doing and my best. So best with the teaching, best with the baseball team, and being a principal. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right now, I have three of the Marquette baseball players with me, and I have Jack Oslin, Sean Bardo, and John Allen. Okay, what grades are you in? I'm a sophomore. Senior. I'm a senior. So I'm a senior. senior. Okay. What positions do you play? I'm a third baseman, middle on the field, and I pitch. Catcher. Okay. Middle of the field, I pitch. Yeah. All righty. Have you two been with the team the last couple of years? Or, yeah. yeah. So, so you've been playing there just sophomore year, just starting out then, right? Good. Okay. Nice, nice chatting with you guys. I hope you have a great year. Thank you so much.
I'm Bill Landing, and that's this edition of Interesting Individuals. I want to give a big thank you to Marquette High School, Casey Martin, and some of his players for coming on camera. Hey, join us again soon.